My name is Clinton Greenspan and I play Aladdin in Disney's Aladdin on Broadway. Aladdin starts off as a, a boy who isn't sure of things and, t and throughout the play he really grows into this mature kind of young man. Finally getting to play this role on stage after, you know, it being such a key character in my childhood. I mean, like, I remember having the movie haunt the TV stand, VHS, of course, and my mother would always roll her eyes when I <laughs> wanted wanted to play it. To take over the role of Aladdin was truly <laughs> uh, a dream come true. I mean, um, I still get emotional about it sometimes. It's, uh, it's a gift. I usually try to get here at least um, 20 minutes before my call. I don't really like having a lot of stuff packed up in my dress room. I have some random knickknacks like pictures from tour and then I also have a picture of Salvador Dali who's one of my favorite artists. He is such a weirdo and I kind of like to connect with that before I go on stage because it's a sort of freedom that I get. I also have Spider-Man toys left and right that just help remind me of like what my kind of therapeutic escape is. When you know you're coming into a comfortable space that is your home, you, you get excited about it. You get excited that it is your place, it, that it is your safe space. Playing Latin has given me a whole different level of self-confidence, um, self-love even, you know. Um, you are constantly um, facing things that scare you and facing things that make you unsure and there's uncertainty in life. And, you know, this role really has helped me through a lot of that stuff, you know. It's helped me realize my potential in things and helped me realize uh, what I have to offer. And, and like, you know, I walk outside this building every day and I just feel this, this new kind of strength because of the role of Aladdin. I do my warm-ups, my uh, breathing techniques and, you know, trying to wake my lips up. It helps wake my body up and I make sure to kind of just do some conditioning for like five to ten minutes. I need to make sure that I'm always listening to my body. That's very important. You can't push it. Um, and so, especially on two show days, I will go and just do like 30 minutes, if even, of conditioning before I come to the theater. I don't want to push anything too much, but I want to wake my body up and get balanced. You think you build stamina in time, and in a way you do, but it's still a lot of work in your body, and it's still a lot of work with your lines. You don't want to fall into this autopilot mode. You have to keep pushing your body, and you have to stay present. The kids at the stage door are the best reminders of what I'm doing. You know, they're the ones who are like, hey, I love watching princes and princesses on TV, on in movies, and you're doing one on stage that I just saw for two and a half hours, and you made my day. And that reminder right there keeps me going. Playing this role has helped me realize how far I've actually made it on my journey. This is for the, the younger crowd, for the kids out there who are doing shows after school, during school, and tell themselves that it's not for me or not sure if I can do that. It might take time, but it's so worth it when you can sit back later on in life and tell yourself, I've actually made it. I made it. <laughs>